So in this video, I wanted to talk about how you can swap a Parker style or G2 refill in place of a Schaefer refill. This is a Schaefer ballpoint refill. It uses a proprietary design that is, uh, it's not a terrible refill. It's just that I don't keep these around and I'm sure most people don't. Whereas Parker style or G2 refills are very easy to come by and they come are sold in all sorts of great types. You can see it's this one adheres to the ISO standard uh, 12757-2, whereas this is just a design that Schaefer wanted to use that resembles the Parker style, but doesn't strictly follow it. So say you have a pen like this one, this is a Schaefer Sentinel. It is a close competitor to the much more popular Parker Jotter. Uh, I would generally recommend you just buy the Jotter and forget about it, but if you like your Sentinel or you found one used or it was given to you and you want to swap in, for a different refill, uh, this is going to be the video for you. And, and this refill should hold true of most Schaefer ballpoint pens that use, most of them use this refill. So it will be most Schaefer ballpoint pens. Really quickly, we can cut to the chase and I'll show you what my Parker style G2 refill in my Schaefer looks like. You can see I used the original spring. You can see the original Schaefer spring is uh, really, it's a real tank. Uh, really overbuilt, but in my Sentinel, I have a standard Rotring ballpoint refill where I cut or removed the end. I just pulled it off and I put a little eraser in here for the uh, extra height because the Schaefer refills are a little bit shorter than the Parker G2 refills. We'll get those fully lined up. You can see the Schaefer is about, you know, two, three millimeters shorter than the Parker. So. This is what my, uh, the end result looks like in my iteration of this. What I did was I pulled that end piece off, this blue piece, I pulled it off entirely. I got a little piece of plastic and I put it inside the refill, making a receptacle or cup for this piece. This is just a pencil eraser, a standard pencil eraser. Uh, I cut the pencil eraser to length. I, well, I shoved it in there and then I cut it to length until it was the right length to match the Schaefer down to the millimeter. And now I have the exact, I basically copied the proportions of the Schaefer with this rotring. Because this piece is a little longer, that means the spring will compress a bit more on the rotring and I will have to press the spring a little bit harder, but I don't mind that. In fact, it's a, I think it's a, a good feature, not a flaw. So you're starting with this and you want to get this into that shape. This is a standard Parker style G2 refill. You want to get it into the hole that this would normally use or the, uh, the container this would normally use. So what do you do? Uh, I've tried experimenting using this piece, just pulling it off here and putting it on here. It doesn't work with this barrel is much narrower than this barrel. So if you try that, this piece just goes right inside the metal body of this Parker style refill. And that's gonna be true of almost any Parker style refill. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is get this piece right here and you could cut it down like very sharply, uh, like you could cut it down with a pair of scissors or something like that, but don't do that. Hold this tightly in one hand, either pull this with your hand or a pair of pliers and this plastic piece will pull right out. It's really not that hard. The only thing holding it in are these like, these tiny little indentations. It's really not that hard. If you can't pull right out, give it a twist and uh, don't worry if you break the plastic thing because it serves no function. And then the ink in this is very thick, so it won't just pour out. The ink is in there, it's not going anywhere unless you are digging around inside. Uh, the next step is what you're gonna wanna do is look for something that will fit in here so that you can put an eraser or something in here without it shoving all the way in and hitting the ink. Because if that happens, it's gonna be a real mess. I used the cap from a refill. Basically when you buy a refill, it won't come like this. It'll come with a little cap on it. That piece will, should fit right inside of uh, this. I use the cap from an Easy Flow, an Easy Flow 9000 ballpoint. That's that blue cap right there. I just, I didn't even cut it. I turned it around, shoved it right in there. No ink came out, nothing. It was a perfect fit. So that was really, I would say fortuitous. Then I got an extended eraser from, uh, you know, like a Pentel. Any sort of extended skinny eraser will work. 
if you have a piece of plastic or the wood from uh, like a toothpick or a very small dowel, that'll work. Uh, you know, you just need a small, sturdy thing. A pencil eraser is usually the best to work with because they don't have a lot of give and they're very easy to cut and you probably have them lying around. Again, most uh, drafting style pencils will have a, an eraser that, of this length and then you want to, don't cut it or anything like that. Just shove it in here as straight as you can and then try it with the original Schaefer spring. It should be completely fine. If you need to stretch out the Schaefer spring a little bit, you can, but you shouldn't have to. Uh, put the spring in here and you'll see that the Schaefer on the inside actually has enough width to accommodate uh, this refill. It's just not a perfect fit. It is the right width. It's just, uh, it might, it hits a little bit on the end, on the sides, and it's a little bit too long and cutting this piece down can be a real pain because it's a very, very hard plastic and cutting it down to the exact length is usually more trouble than it's worth. Usually you just end up cracking this and then uh, possibly cutting yourself without being able to get this to the proper length. So then you'll put this in here and what's probably gonna happen is your setup will be too long. You'll know that because the refill will go down like this when your cap is on and you'll try to push the button, it won't push. When that happens, you wanna cut down uh, maybe like two millimeters or so from the eraser. Uh, you could like obviously erase with it for a while, but that's gonna take forever. So use a pair of scissors or a sharp knife or exacto knife or something. Cut a, a little bit off this. Really don't cut down too much because obviously you can't put it back on. So cut it down, try it. Keep it a little bit longer because the eraser does compress a tiny bit. Uh, and you want to compensate for that. Anyway, eventually, you'll get it to a length where it has a nice click. And this length, after clicking, so the exposed length, is a nice line. It should nicely follow this line without it looking like this. You really, at least in my eyes, uh, you don't want to see any of the flat section. I like it a little shorter. Some people will put it like maybe like that. Uh, again, I like a nice line where the edge of this follows straight through to the angle without any of the flat section exposed. The If you leave it a little bit longer and or you pull that spring a little bit the way I just showed you, you'll get a firmer click, which is I like. I like a nice firm click. And what you could do there is actually match that firm click of your Parker style uh, pen, or in this case, the Jotter pen. So it's a nice firm click. Not everyone will like that. If that's the case, then mush your spring down a little bit or opt for a weaker spring. Uh, and any spring should work. I like the strong click, so I kept that spring and I had it stretched out just a tiny bit. Uh, anyway, now uh, this pen works as intended. You can see, no problem. It doesn't mush down. The spring, it doesn't, not the spring, sorry, the uh, the eraser doesn't compress when I'm pushing because the, that eraser is firm enough that it's essentially a solid piece that can mimic this hard piece of plastic. If you use something that's too mushy, it's gonna mush when you write, so you wanna avoid that. Anyway, so that is how you get a Parker style G2 refill into your Schaefer ballpoint pen, in this case, a Schaefer Sentinel. Thanks for watching.